my Wi-Fi was not working and I have no idea why. <clears throat> so, hello, hello. Welcome to stream. Um, I have most things set up and we're going to be working on a Kigu today. Um, chair there. Got some music going in the background. You may hear Jojo meowing. Um, she just, she just woke up. She's a little lonely. Uh, I'll bring her out for a quick second and then she has to go in the room and, and not be bothered. Say hi, Jojo. Yeah? Yes, my baby. You can come down for a little bit. Here's, Here's Jojo. She's incredibly interested in all the goings on. I'm gonna grab her some treats and put her back in the room. She's not supposed to be out while I'm working. She uh, likes to get into things and it's just not safe for her with the pins and stuff around. There we go. That was a good girl. That's right, I'm gonna get you some treats. Oh, you like treats. I'll try to do a Jojo break at the end of stream as well. Um, just so I'll get to see her. Let me get some lights on. Every time I think I'm set up for stream, I forget something. She's probably gonna be more meowy today than usual because I'm talking, so. She knows I'm here and she thinks other people are here, is what it is. Hi, Kate! So, let's see. Today I'm working on my mom's Kigu. Um, let me show you my big bin of stuff and then more pieces on the cart. I have a typical, like, routine uh not thinking of the right word but a way that I deal with all of this the an order I go in order of operations is probably the right word um and unfortunately this kigu is is more complicated than many that I've worked on so I'm not entirely sure how I want to do things uh, for example, um, it has a fake shirt with a fake collar, two of them, like one is real and the other is fake and it's all going to be stitched together. And I think I want to put the hood in between the layers of the shirt and collar so that the collar will stand out over the top more. Um, that means I need to finish the hood before I can put those parts together. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what do I even do today? So I'm at least gonna finish getting everything cut out. Um, I need to cut out the collars. Here's the little collar for the shirt. Um, and then I need to pattern and cut out the tie. So that's what I'm gonna start with. Let me move some things around a little bit. Yes, this is the Muppet one. Um, my mom is getting a beaker Kigu. So this is the collar to his lab coat. 
and then this is the collar to his shirt um, and this is the little fake shirt um, it's very it looks pretty small but it'll all be proportionate when it comes out and the fingers crossed um, so I don't want to do it again okay. though I do have enough fabric to do it again I need to um, make some notes about how much fabric each piece takes because I have some notes about how much fabric in total like the body needs but not the rest of it so when I get into pieced bodies like this um, I sometimes end up buying way more fabric so all of this is pretty much leftover fabric um, this is the yarn for the hair this is the fabric for the nose and that's the tie but all of the rest of this this I already had in my stash and I forgot about and then all of the rest of this fabric is literally just leftover that I've already cut out from and I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do with it um, some things I won't think will make really nice linings for like capes and stuff um, and I want to just start using up some of my scrap material for other projects to go in the store but I don't even know okay I swear I already washed this counter this morning okay. I did dishes This piece is more than big enough, plenty of room to work with. I need to refill JoJo's food. I'll just put that in bag down here. Move bananas as well. Fingers crossed we'll be moving to a new place soon where I will have a room just for sewing and then I won't have to clean up the kitchen counter every time I want to work. Wouldn't that be nice? What a dream. Right. Ah, very nice. Are you excited about having a roommate? I know you mentioned before that it seemed like a really good match. I definitely had a moment when you uh, first sent me pictures and was like, I'm cleaning up for Megan to move in, where I thought it was the other Megan. I was just like, I didn't know Megan was moving in. And then I, then I remembered who you were talking about. All right. Um, I, yeah. Just a short while. I forgot to do something on the computer, so things are gonna be really still for a second.
There we go. At least I am on to cutting out the small pieces so I don't need to be crouching on the floor anymore. Definitely another one of those pipe dreams to get like a really big table and some nice cutting mats and be able to cut all of my pieces out while I'm standing. It'd be so much better for my back. Other hand, squatting isn't a bad workout. I expanded that bottom quarter long enough. Well, I have plenty to try again. If this pattern isn't quite right. Like I try to measure everything and cut once, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes things are like, yeah, this is fine. And sometimes I gotta go again. <laughs> much of the plaid in as possible because the original Muppet has a fairly plaid shirt but what, I, what I've got to work with you know is a pretty big check Cutting into something more somewhere. Yeah. Or oh, it's just not green enough. Probably will just screw around with this pattern piece for ages. All right. y'all a little closer. There we go. <laughs> Cater tots. That's a great nickname. Just maybe not maybe not one you want to be called in front of coworkers, but <laughs> that's fantastic. really have any fun nickname nicknames like it's pretty much just you know the the sweetheart honey those basic ass <laughs> names normally I wouldn't have cut in right there but problem with working on a big surface like this.
<laughs> Very nice when you bring your coffee though. figure out that tie. Oh my gosh. Things got stuck. Sorry. Well, that's all kinds of wrapped around. Uh. I have to keep my, my phone plugged in while streaming or about halfway through it'll be like, hey, only 10% power left. Um, but my, my phone charger got wrapped into my computer charger. It was a problem. I think I can throw this out now. This is uh, Kitty's old medicine. There's no medicine left in there. I'm just like paranoid about not having the instructions or whatever. Okay. The tie. So this is actually the front of the shirt. That's where the button facing is gonna be. Now in reality, I'm sure his tie would be longer and tucked in under his lab coat, but again, I'm faking everything. So it's gonna be what it is. I think I know what a tie looks like and then I go to actually make one and I'm like wait there we go so I'm actually only gonna follow one side of this. Try to make it pretty straight up at the top so it's still gathered into the knot, which will also be fake. isn't exactly the middle of the paper, but the middle of where I drew the tie. Yeah. 
clean up all those little scraps so that when the kitten does emerge again later, she won't eat them. of existing paper. Let's make a bit that will tuck into the collar. I'm going to cut it down again a little bit more. need the knot. It's a piece of paper that I already had a little bit of stuff cut into. Oh, tell me I wasn't using my good scissors. Oh no. Oh, I'm feeling gone. Oh, my heart. will get shaped as we go. Put this side on a fold. Yes, under half the size so that it will tighten a little bit. allowance on this side. And that's be the seam allowance on that side. There we go. Done. So it will basically get wrapped like that, and then I will have, the, the wrapping will be better in fabric, and then I will have this strap out the back, and one side will be sewn in, one side of the strap will be sewn in, um, pardon me not showing this in frame very well, and then the other side of the strap will have a snap on it. Um, tucked underneath the collar so that you can undo and redo the tie to get in and out of the kigu at the opening. I could have also like made a tie um, and just sewn either side into the kigu but then you'd have to retie it as a as a tie. Um, 
to get in and out of the Kiku, and I just, that sounded hard. <laughs> scissors back out. Just have to make sure that this when petted is going the correct way. This is the flat laying way. Okay. This is going to shed absolutely everywhere. Is that? Yeah. Ooh, okay. Actually, looks like I'm having some trouble with this pile. Either. It's up and down that way. Or. Yeah, it looks like. That's a much more dramatic shift. That that is down. That is up. That means I didn't get enough fabric. Ooh. I think, I mean, as long as you're not brushing it sideways, that should be fine. Like this is still down. And you'd be less likely to brush it side. I think this is gonna be fine. Oy. we had it folded and the way I you know experimented with it in the store to make sure that that was the way it went but when you get it home happening okay I think the dark is the better color right that's what we agreed okay that should be right something fun oh you can't see it on camera it's shedding everywhere all right 
I will immediately vacuum after this. Immediately. I think I might be able to fit these side by side, actually. No, not with how short that one underneath got. Nope. Okay. This needs at least one more pin in the middle here. This fabric is so slippery. Patane in the patoot. Okay, let's see. Let's see if you can see it on camera this time. Snowing little green fuzz. Now I'll probably try to clean up uh, after everything because I don't have to cut anything more on the floor because the vacuum will wake Jojo up. And that is <laughs> not the goal here. Sleep and be happy. Sorry about that. Yes. No, she... I had to... Um, she's gotten used to the routine of, like, I leave at a certain time and I put on some music and then she'll hear the sewing machine and uh, I give her some food before I go, you know, tell her I'll see her after work. But I forgot my glasses today, so I had to go back in and get my glasses, and she was so upset. She did not understand why when I came in, I wasn't staying. She's like, this mean work time's over. What are you doing? Okay. I do wonder if a rotary tool would go through this stuff better. It's hard to say. I also realized that while I have a rotary tool, I don't have a cutting mat, which I really, I really don't know how I escaped the store with a rotary tool and no cutting mat. Like I don't, I have no idea how that happened. Again, yep, this is, yep. I remember buying the rotary tool as well because it was it was on sale and I was like perfect now I'll have one just must have been burnt out that day I was back when I was working retail okay oh the pile of scraps oh de joy all right I'm just gonna uh, decide everything from this side on is garbage
You're shaky. I have this little mushroom that is a desktop vacuum for like pencil shavings. Let's uh, let's see what happens. versus blew it away, but I'm not gonna complain. Uh, that's working area clear. back to sleep at some point <laughs> this was my fault this was all my fault Jojo I'm so sorry all right let's see a I love you and your puns Kate hmm. trying to figure out the best way to show the serger I think I'm gonna need to get Too low. <laughs> my my little tripod is very little, so it only does so much. There we go, serger. Uh. and apartment in the background. <laughs> Me. A little squishmallow fell over. little guys before it turns into an absolute nightmare. Mm. Mm. Not perfect, but it's nice green. I have learned that I only really need to re-thread the first thread with a color close to the fabric for the serging to not show up when I'm actually making a seam, which is nice. to re-thread the serger or at least like ways the manual says to do it which I do when I'm replacing the other threads but not so much when I'm replacing the first one because it just goes through the needle so I don't have to worry about it winding through all the various internal mechanisms okay I put the sweater on because I was cold and now I've been moving around so I'm warm 
temperature is a nightmare. <laughs> All right. Long pinches. Oh, come on. Sorry, Jojo. I hear you. I don't know if y'all can hear her, but she is standing by the door and meowing. And I feel very bad, but I am at work. I am at work. And she cannot come out here. I'm not gonna out here. Just start by surging the edges that I'm gonna be, oh, wrong, wrong thing. Um, and I'm going to be sewing shut by hand or, or otherwise so that they don't fray. So we have a surged little edge that won't fray, and that's going to get flipped and then tucked back here to make the knot. I already, uh, this working with this same material in a plaid for the pants, and I already did most of their edges when I was cutting stuff out yesterday, because same problem. Now eventually it will stop shedding, like you'll hit the actual cut edge and it would stop shedding on its own, but I don't want to deal with that. Um, you can either shake it out quite a lot or, um, words, words are leaving me, or you can wash it to get to stop doing that. Pin it right sides together. Whew, sorry about that. the machine open <laughs> while doing this. Oops. There we go. Flip the tube. That is the basis of the knot. Hang on, I'm gonna pin its pattern piece back to it. Just so I don't confuse it. The straps. Okay. Number 
rather than risk cutting that and having my machine try to eat its own thread. I'm just gonna string these together. I flipped that one upside down for a reason it's because it got cut crooked <laughs> so I'm just using the blade of the serger to trim it same with this one Did you do the thing? No, you got caught somewhere else. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna pin them right sides together. Go down. Edge is here to make some tubes. I just realized I didn't need to do that because I could have just surged the ends together after I had made the tubes. Too late! I may end up doing that anyway. It is what it is. These are long enough that they can get a little trim and it won't be the end of the world. It, uh, it missed the back side on one of these here, so I'm just gonna flip it and do that part again. It won't be super visible anyway. definitely had a problem. Hmm. Dear God, it like ate itself. I am not going to mess with it right now. I'm just going to do the other side and I will either clean that up on the regular sewing machine or it will get cut off. So I'll put 
put that on the bad side. Let's see where I go from there. There's the problem with, again, super slippery fabrics like this. it again it missed the last part oh this oy vey That time I was able to fix it without incident. Uh, flippy this tubey. outside. Alright. Oh, tie strap. Next one. Let's see if I can avoid those problems that the last one had. So part of the reason that it's doing that is on my big machine, I have a walking foot. Um, so both layers will get pushed through at the same time. Uh, if they make one for surgeries, I haven't seen it yet. That's something I could look into. But basically this foot just, the fabric slides under it and then the treads are on the bottom. So the bottom fabric is moving faster than the top fabric is and it'll end up making like a bubble here and then it just shifts off to the side and that's why it keeps skipping that last bit To avoid that problem, I'm going to do the actual hanging portion of the tie on my regular sewing machine instead of the serger. 
and then I might serge the edges. No problems. I just gotta flip it. being done. So now I have two. That side's a problem, but they've got two ties. All right. Set those aside. Bring the big machine in. sides together. another thread out. So I really don't want to be taking that one on and off the serger. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's an option. So I do actually have two of this exact same green that I was using over there, but I also have this nice shiny green. And I think I'm gonna do some top stitching on these ties, so I'll keep this one out. Um, the reason I didn't load this one in over here is because one, it's embroidery thread, so it's more expensive. Um, and two, it's a different weight than the ones I have in the machine. And I know that one, I know that my machine is sensitive to that, so I'm not dealing with it. Ideally, I would have every color in actual serger spools, um, and that may be something I invest in. Oops, sorry, I keep... Let me take the arms off this thing so I won't hit the desktop as much. Anyway, that may be something I invest in as I have more place to store 
thread. down. Let's see. Silver and gold. These are my embroidery bobbins. Um, these are my regular bobbins. My machine pretty much takes both of them, which is nice, but not usual. Actually, I think, yeah, I already had that thread. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. I think the reason my machine takes both is because my um, my embroidery machine also has a sewing function because some embroidery machines have a, a different shape of bobbin, if that makes any sense. Um, and I could just have my embroidery machine um, out all the time and switch up whether I'm using it for embroidery or sewing. Um, you just change the tension setting and switch off the arm basically. But oh I do not want to change. I do not want to bother with changing the modes of that machine and it is large, and then I wouldn't be able to sew while things are being embroidered. So I just have three, technically four machines <laughs> because uh, I have a little one downstairs. I think I've talked about this on stream before. All right, let's make sure our stitch length is good. So, as you can see on the walking foot, it has little treads right there as well. So there are treads on both top and bottom pulling the fabric through. At the same rate. So there's no bunching. Great. Um, it's not a cheap foot, but gosh, it's worth it. walking foot on almost everything because while it's only necessary for some projects like <laughs> this slippery stuff right here um, other than being loud it's great for everything and it's a pain in the tuchus to change out so I pretty much only change it out when I need to put on one of my other specialty foots like my uh, my button holder <laughs> um, my zipper foot those guys I don't think I have a rolled hem foot, and that is definitely one of those things I would really like. It's on the list. Okay. I say it's on the list, but I do have an actual list, and I don't think it's on there. Um, so it's just on the list in my mind. <laughs> All right, there's the little tie. 
Uh, I don't know why I flipped it inside out. I forgot to search the edges. Got ahead of myself. Sometimes it's not necessary. I won't surge the edges on um, actually quite a bit of the stuff that I'll work on that's enclosed, like um, ears and things like that, because they get completely closed in. The only reason that I am doing it here, because this tie will be completely closed in, is just I worry the fuzz will somehow escape. And I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but if you worked with furs or sequins before that they, they escape actually ready to be flipped inside out. There we go. I do want to, do I want to top stitch this or not? tell based on the changing light because now it looks like it's lighter that way okay it looks it looks right I don't, wanna, I don't know what I was panicking about the color's fine I don't think I'm gonna top stitch it. I don't I don't think it's worth it. Like because with the pile, if I top stitch it, it'll be fine going one way, and then as I turn the other direction, you see what it, it would like move the pile. I don't have a good way to explain that. Okay. So I'm placing all of the ties and the tie together, making sure 
all their seams are flat. Run them through here. All right, Terrence. Don't make a fool out of me. I believe in you. You've got this. Sergio. Terrence did all the hard work of connecting them, making sure everything was kind of, you know, flat and the way it was supposed to be and blah, blah, blah. So I just need you to finish off all these edges, okay? I don't have to worry about keeping things straight or anything like that. No, that's not the forte. Pretty good, buddy. You did a pretty good job there, buddy. Oh boy. Don't fall. Okay. I'm going to take a needle with a nice big eye. And I thread my oy, oy, my serger ends through it. And then I push that back through the seam. And then I trim that little bit off. And it keeps everything tucked in. Um, this is not the best example of that. side. I wish I had realized finishing things off like that sooner because I have a bunch of wedding napkins that don't have the best finished edges. Well, I don't have them, but I had a bunch of wedding napkins. Mm. Hmm. Think that way. 
Okay. Here comes the knot. everything down together Oh, I didn't realize how close the camera was when I leaned forward like that. <laughs> um, well, well, that, uh, that is what it is. Yet another reason to think about top surgery. Okay, hand sewing time. Oh, Jojo, no! Go back to sleep, baby! Alright. Let me pick out a needle here. On, uh, on my phone, the- whoops! The, um, chat covers that part of the screen. So I just didn't even know. Y'all are looking at the edge of some oats again, but that is the way it is. All right. Just gonna start. Inside. This is a longer needle than I needed it to be. Too late now. Side edge doesn't need to be perfect because it is not going to be seen. Inside.
ladder stitch up the outside here, which is just my go-to stitch for closing up seams like this. It works super well. Um, depending on how much of Kigus I do on streams, you'll probably see the ladder stitch fairly often. But you basically just take the thread across to the same point on the other side and it creates rungs. Like so. And then pull it tight and it tucks everything in. You've probably seen it on like life hack videos and like five minute crafts, those, those sorts of things. Um, it's a great and legitimate technique. Okay, let's take the pins out of here for now. I like to go up one way with the ladder stitch and then kind of back the other and catch the areas in between that I may have not have caught last time. This one is wanting to stick out instead of in. There we go. Um, just to help to reduce any of that like bubble appearance. kind of see here how it appears much flatter and here where it kind of has a zigzag to it. So I'm just going to those places where it kind of sticks out, coming out in the next place where it kind of sticks out, and pull that together, if that makes any sense. So trying to stick the seam part of it wants to stick up instead of in. cuddles, but I just can't give her cuddles right now. it off. 
keep it from sliding down so you can see I've got a tie going on. But I can still kind of move this around. I'm gonna make sure I get it pretty centered here. I'm gonna actually sew through it. that thread almost perfectly. Done. Now that shouldn't move around and we have a little tie. And these ends will be tucked under the collar. I think this way. Uh, sorry, can't see what I'm talking about. Like that have a little tie. Okay. Let's see what out my little pattern papers here. I'll grab a little Ziploc. No one else can read it because I can read it. That is the important part. So all the little tie pieces will go in here as I do the face. Their pattern pieces will go in here. Probably the top of the shirt, the collar, those sorts of things. keep everything that I can just because it makes life easier. All right, I am going to work on the collar bits, getting them ready.
try to back away. thread. Um, if I run out, I'll have to go get some more. This is going to be what the majority of the body is sewn in and then just white for the bobbins and probably for the serger as well because um, most of the fabric is really light tan um, so white won't, won't show up that bad. about everything shaking. As, as mentioned earlier, I want a really big table surface for cutting. Um, someday. New apartment. Um, but it's not first priority. Um, but I would like to turn this into a computer table again. It's what it's made for. Um, and have this be my like drawing area and where I come when I need to do like stuff on my computer, video editing, bookkeeping, taxes, um, and have a table with an open back for sewing and hopefully a place to actually put the camera. All right. Oh my gosh. I have to go cut out this collar piece again. I'm gonna right cut two on here before I forget. Because I wanted to do it on fold so I didn't have a seam in the back, which I, I still think was the right move, but it does mean I only have one side of it. Back to over here. big piece of fabric out again. It's okay, Piggy. I'm just gonna nestle it right up to the last one. about being awkwardly right in front of the camera.
go. Now I have two of them. Clean up again. Take y'all back over here. So now that I have two, I can get sewing them together. All right. And this, like the others, in that pattern zip block. and they open up into being one collar. Make sure I get the right side. So to tell the right side on things like this, this is really soft and um, a bit darker. And then the wrong side is kind of hairy fuzzy versus like, um, I don't know how to describe this, um, mossy fuzzy. Or awkward descriptions. <laughs> it's really easy to tell on something with a print, um, like the shirt part here, where you can see this side is really dark, and then this side is really pale. The darker side is the right side. going to do the outside of the collar here. And I will once again point out this isn't entirely how a real collar like this would be made. Um, some of them are, but most of the time you're actually going to have two pieces here. So this triangle would be one piece and then this would be another piece. Um, but for ease of bulk, um, I'm just doing it all as one thing. And if I hate it, I have enough fabric to go again. I should be fine. I did offer to my mom that's who this is for. Yeah, this is my mom's kiku. Is instead of making her a beaker kiku, I could you know help her make a beaker cosplay. Um, she'd rather have like the actual tan lab coat and the shirt and all that sort of stuff. But she really wanted a kiku, and I appreciate that. That's what I sell the most of, and I don't uh, normally do cosplay commissions just because it involves so many more measurements. Um, so unless I can do the fittings on the person, 
it makes me really anxious that I'm not going to have, you know, graded the pattern correctly or anything like that. All right. with the walking foot is sometimes it has it it has like a little back pedal um and i don't mean like a going backwards pedal i mean it has a third um grip on the on the back and sometimes the fabric will just get caught up in that Tie those threads off. This is all going to get tucked into um, to the seam of the actual kigu anyway, but you know, precautions. Come here. Stop that. 
cooperate. Some days are just more of a struggle than others. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to trim all these edges. Alright. So start by clipping the corners. get nice and close to that seam and it reduces bulk when turning and then on the inside ones I know I probably don't need to cut that notch in the middle first, but it just makes me like sleep easier. And then around this whole part, I'm just gonna cut some notches in just to help with the curve here. Because this is where it goes around the neck. Pretty nice. Nice, good corner. There we go, nice, good corner. I go like that. Again, I may top stitch it. I'm just going to put some pins in. Down here it's gonna this entire corner isn't gonna do anything it's gonna have to end there um, so we'll see how that fits luckily uh, fleece is pretty forgiving and I did you know I did work in a seam allowance from my measurements so Hopefully, corners are different, like the ends like that are really difficult. Alright. Collar. Set that off to the side.
I showed I was going to have to cut the shirt collar again uh, for the exact same reason that I had to cut the lab coat collar again. I am trying really hard to be productive today. I have a lot to get done on this Kigu and not the largest amount of time. But clearly, my, my brain is having a hard time keeping up. This is the, the second piece today I've had to recut. And I'm really considering just calling it. So I have found where it matches up. I'm just going to oh, missed one. That's the pointy end. Matches up that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna grab a toy and just toss it under the door for her. She has so many toys in that room, but you can get a baby girl. She will figure it out and it'll keep her a little more entertained, um, a little less annoyed with me, hopefully. Apologize for uh, the noise. Allergies are kicking my butts today. Butts? I have one butt. She she got it. She pulled it under the door. Um, let me give you a little, a little tour of what I've got going on. Um, just joining us. Um, that is that fabric's bag. So I've got a pile of accessories, the fake shirt panels, um, my pattern pieces thus far. And these are all the pocket and hood pieces here. And then I have the collar for the um, lab coat, I'm really, I'm, I'm having a, a slow brain day. And the collar pieces for the shirt, which I was just gonna work on over here. And then, if you don't mind us taking a trip to the couch, um, these are the sleeves here. And then front of the Kigu, and the legs are already attached and there's the back um, mostly because 
they were they were shedding so I just wanted to attach them quick and for the same reason the tie got sewn today so here's a little tie I know Beaker would obviously have a uh, a longer tie that is tucked into his lab coat but because the lab coat will be sewn to the shirt and that's not possible I just did a little tie yes it is so soft um, and I did notice now that it's off the board, I was trying to pet it and I was like, what direction does it go? And all of that, um, that it looks like it's one direction this way. And then you flip it around and it looks like it's the other direction. So I just, I did my best, but it seems to be kind of just dependent on where your light source is, but it's still your color concerns. It looks fine, <laughs> but there's the little tie. So one side will be sewn into the collar of the shirt and the other side will have the snaps. That's what these are for. So that you can get in and out easy and you don't have to like tie a tie every time. So I was going to pack up this fabric and work on the shirt collar. I don't have the cuffs for anything cut yet and I don't have the face pieces cut or patterned, but everything else is at the very least in progress. <laughs> this Kigu is taking up a little bit more of my brain, sorry about covering the camera there, than most of the time because with the multiple collars and such um uh the business end of the tie can be flappable um i was going to ask you about that if you would like it to hang out or if you would like me to sew it in um either way it, it's made to be fine with either one right now um, i think flappable would be cute but I don't know if it would be safe. I know in an actual lab setting it wouldn't be, so I don't know how accurate you need that to be. I agree, easier to pet. All right, so I'm getting the right sides together here. And basically, I'm only gonna be sewing right here because this side is going to be where the collar of the Kigu is. So you'll have your shirt and the hood. And then this side actually will be lined up like that so it's just going to be completely hidden under everything um, and most of the time I'd, I'd already be on the body of the Kigu which is probably going to be the next step but I can't sew any of the collars or, or the shirt or anything in because I want the hood to actually be sandwiched between let me see if I can show you what I mean so let me grab a hood piece here this, this goes this way just <laughs> it's fine um, I'm gonna angle the camera down so I can just lay it out so the shirt and the collar and then I want to put the hood in between like that so that your collar seems like it's laying on top um so it, it makes the illusion of like wearing layers over the hood 
if that makes sense. Whereas otherwise the hood would come out on top, like they'd all be sewn like that and the hood would be on the very top and I think that would just look weird. So that means I need to completely finish the hood before I can sew any of this on. <sighs> so my brain is just like, what? what's next? It's, I've been thinking about it a lot and I tried writing it all out and it just made everything more confusing. So I gave up that. Oh, I need to change that thread color. So I'm just taking it as they come now. Yeah, uh, I think I know how to do this. It's one of those things where I was drawing it out and I was like, yeah, and I just put the fake collar here and it just takes up this much space. And then I, I get to the actual patterning portion of it and I'm like, okay, this part of the collar is gonna have to go into that seam and this part of the collar is gonna have to go into that seam. And I'm, I suspect there will end up being a lot of hand sewing <laughs> in this project. Um, just so I can actually put everything together. Where did I put my, there's my thing bed. Jojo does not appreciate stream days because I'm talking um, and so she knows I'm here and she thinks I'm interacting with people and she wants to come out and say hi. She doesn't get to come out and say hi. you lost it where you know where to find it. a big jump. Jojo really went for it. Um, we can absolutely never get handles instead of knobs like the, the ones where you just push it instead of turning it because I have more than once opened the door to Jojo standing like on the dresser next to the door with like a paw out on the knob. She, she would figure it out. As she's getting older, she's getting smarter. And as much as I, I love that, I'm also like, oh God. <sighs> On the other hand, um, so little, little collar points. On the other hand of Jojo being smart versus dumb, she got into the shower yesterday. Um, love her, that was not the best move. <laughs> Okay. 
just gonna work on the hood now. I don't, I don't wanna deal with it. I'm just gonna work on the hood. Beaker's a nice flat shape. Yeah, I just have his hair. So I can absolutely sew the whole hood together. And not have it be a problem. Okay. Uh, yes, I think I'll get more pink for the bobbin. Okay, thank you, Mom. Again, another bobbin I haven't used yet and I have to find the end of. I bought myself a, a new seam ripper the other day. It was my, my treat to myself because um, my old one, which is great for finding threads and stuff, doesn't actually cut at all. It's, um, I saw somebody ripping a seam one of the videos that I watch and it went so fast for them and I was like is that what it's supposed to be like I, I haven't had a new seam ripper ever um, there we go found the end can't even see that at all um, don't don't add any slack I will add slack sorry I didn't see that message until now You, you just tell me exactly what it measures at. Sorry about the shaking there. I was taking a screenshot of the measurement information I, I just got. Um, so I, I do upload each of my streams to YouTube like after they're finished, um, partially for like posterity and partially so there's some activity on my YouTube. Um, but I, I realized that I don't think chat is at all visible. Um, yes, I, I believe you that that would be hard, Mom. Um, and I'm not even sure if chat is visible on Twitch when you go back to look at the video. So there are definitely times I feel like I'm responding that'll be completely out of context. <laughs> I've moved on to the hood. Here are the sides. And here is the back.
Oi. So this one is a, a blizzard fleece, um, which means it's a tighter weave and is often slightly warmer than an anti-pill fleece, which is treated so that it does not pill up. Unfortunately, it is also harder to find the right side. I think I've got it right. Um, blizzard fleece might pill a little bit um, over time, but you can, you know, take a razor to it to scrape the pills off, that sort of thing. Um, but because it's not going to be in a high contact area, it really shouldn't pill too much. Um, meaning it's not, um, it's not going to be rubbing like under your arms or around your legs or anything like that. Um, I want to surge this and I just spent time. <sighs> Do I want to surge it? Yeah, I want to surge it. serger and change out that thread. Hello, other pink thread. Mm, no, you're too pink. All right, removing this thread. Come on, get in your slot. Um, just for like reference of blizzard fleece pilling, I have heard some people have had problems with it pilling, like in, in online reviews and stuff, but I have made a full kiku out of blizzard fleece before, um, just because I didn't really, like it was my first time making one, I didn't really know what I was doing, and it was cheaper, and I was like, yeah, um, and it has not pilled, like, it's been it's been years um and z wears it pretty frequently and it has not filled i just prefer to use anti-pill it's, it's a little softer um a little flusher
but this is also the hood where it will have a lining, so I'm not worried too much about how soft it will be. Uh, it shouldn't be against your skin. Um, and I've definitely run into clients before where I'm like, Blizzard has the exact color we want, where anti-pill is softer, and they're like, give me the color. Um, <laughs> Now, just funny fact from the store, um, I had checked online to see if I could get all the fabrics that I needed for this Kiyu at the same store. And I couldn't, but I could get most of them. Um, and the lab coat fabric said there was like nine yards there, so that means more than one bolt, because um, they come in eight yard bolts. And Sometimes that would mean a fresh eight yard bolt and one remnant, but usually it'll mean like a four yard bolt and a five yard bolt and stuff left over. Anyway, and I could not find it. And I, I know how this store works. I've, I've worked not at that particular location, but at, at many of these stores before. And I was like, where is it? It's not with the rest of the colors. It's not in its position. Uh, it's not awkwardly hanging out in the prints accidentally. I could not find it. Um, so I asked, I was like, hey, can you scan this for me? Like, because they have location information. I'm like, maybe, maybe I can get some help. Um, and she scanned it and went, oh, it's in the blizzards. And I was like, oh no, because this is the majority of the Kigu and had said anti-pill and we went and pulled the board out from the proper location in the blizzards and it's an anti-pill it says anti-pill on the end it's the texture of anti-pill so I do not know why the system put it in blizzard but like that's where it was supposed to be apparently um, I was just glad I found it Glad she found it. I did not do the work. I just asked. y'all up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. You are the flatter side. You are the curvier side. Curvier side to the hood. Center. Same here. Come here. Behave. Okay. 
go. Just no good way to show my whole working station. You can see me sewing, you can't see me pinning. Just a baby Yoda in the background watching. That was one of my uh, Christmas gifts um, for my friend who works at Costco. Um, and she's notorious for not wrapping anything. I love her. Um, it's, it's fantastic. So she just shows up uh, to, the, to our little Christmas party of, of like five people because, you know, quarantine was still heavily in effect um and she she walks in carrying a baby yoda under each arm and is just like come get y'all gifts <laughs> Fantastic. So that's the main hood. And the face will mostly go here, eyes, eyes, nose, and then the hair will be back here in its little swirl. All right. I'm gonna do the lining now, which means yet again, another change of thread. Let me find a Gray bobbin, please. Not bobbin, but a gray. Yes, gray thread. Post. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be real soft. And the baby's very soft. I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Uh -oh. <laughs> Also, while I have you here, 
do you want um baby and yeah, your mm, beaker at the end of the beak do you want beaker's eyes outlined in black or white when they're applicate onto the hood because his pupils will be black but i i, I was i was kind of thinking white because he like all other muppets just kind of has not all other Muppets, but he, he has, like, ping pong balls. Uh, I think he actually may have sun tanning goggles for eyes. Um, but they don't, they don't have an outline. So I didn't know which one you wanted. All right. Hood pattern pieces going away. Yes, white. Okay. I will make a note of that. Oh, also, your fabric came in. Isn't it cute? I really love the colors. I know I already sent you a picture of it, but I think it's great. It's a good size. Um, the hood... I realized if I cut it, like the hood front, if I cut it going straight up on one side, it'd be going straight down on the other. So I cut it so everything would be going like back. Uh, that's the best I got. So I hope that's acceptable. This time it's really easy to tell which side is the right side. <laughs> Show that again. Coming in. So, this is like the, let me pull it up. So, here's your hood. This is the side panel. So, it's going up and down, as is the back panel. And these will all be on the, on the inside. You know how linings work. Um, <laughs> but, this panel... If I cut it so it was going up one direction, it would be going down the other direction. So what I did was cut it so all of the instruments are facing backwards. Um, so then, or forwards, this way. So when you reach, let me unpin some stuff, I'm sorry. Uh -uh this this way cut it going this way so then when you're at the back of the hood it lines up so it'll so the front here lines up this way this here lines up this way I did I did my best with it sorry about the shakiness there because it's a directional pattern and they get weird do my best <laughs> on the on the details it's important to me oh I didn't finish putting the thread in <sighs> I'm like I got it out and then I did not finish rethreading this machine
thought I noticed now. This is why I had a customer come in before and say, hey, can you help me thread my machine? <laughs> Sergers are not easy, but they're so nice. All right. Nope, something happened. All right, where are you messing up? Whose thread is this? Uh-huh. There we go. I don't know which one you got caught. Oh, thank you. It's my, it's my rainbow hair wrap. Um, I, I won that during trivia at the bar. Um, one, one side of it is uh, printed with a vodka label, but I just, I just wear that side in so you can't you don't see it. <laughs> there, there are multiple ways to thread a serger. I actually mentioned this earlier in the stream. Um, my manual recommends that anytime you wanna change the thread, you cut it here and tie on your new thread and then run it through the machine. Um, and when I'm changing out either of these, these two back threads, I do do it that way because they run through, I do do all of this wonkiness. Oh, I really need to get this thing cleaned. I mean, I brush it out, but everything falls in there. Um, they run through all this wonkiness and I don't want to deal with that. But when I'm changing just this first thread that just goes through the needle, it, it it's more trouble than it's worth because you have to cut it when it gets to the needle anyway because the knot can't pass through. Yes, I, I, I understood the knot. I just figured I'd, while I have you here. Yeah, this is the way. Yeah. Hi. I, I, yeah. Sorry, pinning around curves with, um, pinning around curves is troublesome, but it's easier on fleece because it's kind of stretchy. So you just, you know, you just make it work. Um, this takes a little more finagling. I know it works. I've done it many times. fit together. Alright. Well, that is how it is. Let's go.
See, see, it, it, it goes, it, it goes around that curve. Um, yes, when there's more than one person watching this at a time, you can see the whole chat and you can talk to each other and all that sort of stuff. is the direct yeah it is okay sorry a little little bit of concentration needed here ease things.
Here, let me just... So you can at least see what I'm doing. <laughs> These were cut slightly, you know, one, one of them is cut on one grain and one of them is cut on the other. So I have to distribute the ease so that I don't end with creases along the front of the hood. And I thought a couple of times about slightly changing the measurements of the hood. Um, that's one of those things I, I definitely haven't gotten around to yet. patterns were modeled off of my existing Kigu and then altered as I went and found things that needed to be changed. Like the arms needed to be lengthened, um, which I did. The leg one of my legs ended up patterned longer than the other, so I changed that. Um, in the actual pattern, not like on people's cues. Um, I figured it out pretty quickly after making one, but the ease around the hood has always been something where it's like, eh, it's, it's troublesome in the moment, but then it turns out good, so. Is it worth it? Like, I don't know if I tried to change the pattern, if it would make it too small, if that makes sense. Like, if this is a necessary annoyance, or if it's just that I've accidentally, like, added in an inch that was unnecessary somewhere along the line.
ends up just just fine. No no wrinkles, like no creases. It's it's fine. Um, so I don't I don't know. So there they go, they they line up. And this will actually be I won't be attaching the hood and the lining together until after the facial features are on, which may be what I work on tomorrow, but that is how it will look when you open it up, when you're wearing it, or when you're displaying it. All right, I have about five minutes to lunch, so I'm just gonna flip this back around, say, Thanks for coming by. A um, little bit of JoJo time. I'm just going to put this stuff away real fast and I'll show off the kitten and in stream. So all of the stuff goes in this bucket, laid out nicely. I have like smaller pieces on the tray, larger pieces underneath. Uh, I missed two larger pieces. we go. And that all scoots under the desk. Everything here gets <clears throat> turned off and needle down just because sometimes she does try to, you know, run up here and see behind things. And I don't want her, you know, sniffing something and getting her nose cut or anything like that. Then, I put the baby grate over it. And I push in my chair and she can't get in there. So she's not you know, playing with pins and needles. She's not personally touching anybody's fabric. I, I would still, you know, recommend to any, anybody to wash things, not just for me, just, just wash things. Um, but it is now kitten proof. All right, let's go see the Jojo. Oh, I see she has thrown things. There she is. Hi. Did you have a good nap? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Say hi to the people. Okay. You good? Oh, big stretching. You good? Do you like your Kleenex box? No, no, no playtime? Yes, playtime? Food time? All right, baby. Come here. Come here. Who's my good girl? All right. I gotta go feed this one and vacuum the kitchen. <laughs> she just wants to play.